Yes guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. So today, we have top 5 icon moments under 1 million coins. So, I've done under a mil normal icons, I've done under 500k normal icons, but today we have icon moments because, you know, everyone wants an icon moments in their team. Currently, I don't have one, but I really want to get one. They The cards look insane, the dynamic images, they all look pretty good. But um, yeah, let's not waste any time, let's get straight into the icons. So I think we've got two defenders, a midfielder and two attackers in this uh, top five. It just happens to be like that. But um, these are the meta the meta players on these uh, icon moments list under a mill. So starting off is actually someone who comes out of packs as a left wing back. Uh, we'll come and find him now. Um, he should be, I'm guessing he's the highest. Oh, um... Not, not in the club, highest rated, um, yeah he is, 93, Xavier Zanetti, um, absolutely, I think he's a hidden gem, honestly, because if we look at this, you've got to ignore the skill moves, two star skill moves, you ain't, you ain't doing any skill moves with him, but he's a defender at the end of the day, so you don't need it, so high high, four star weak foot is brilliant, so he can, sh uh, not shoot, he can pass, dribble, anything on either foot, so um, high high, pretty cool because he can go up and down and these stats are actually in the hullet gang he's got 85 is his min 82 sorry is his minimum um card stat and then in games are incredible 92 shot power 91 long shot so if you want a long shot with him from wing back um he can do it um crossing short pass both 95 insane pace isn't absolutely rapid but you can apply a shadow or a catalyst or anything you like hunter if you want to play him further up the pitch um, to boost that and engine is probably what I go for boosts his agility and balance which are already really good 80 agility and 87 balance is actually very good for a fullback and then 93 ball control is just insane for a fullback defending is nearly lights out it's so so good if you want to shadow on that if you want to play him further back and then stamina 93 aggression 88 his jumping is a bit dodgy but honestly guys I don't think you're going to notice it He's five foot ten, which is actually quite tall already, and he makes it number one spot. But there's no particular order. But yeah, he's in there. number two. Obviously, no order again. But um, number two is going to be a prime moment centre back. Um, if we can find him, where is he? I'm not sure what rating he is. Should probably yeah, there he is. Prime moments ninety one Vidic. Um, an absolute tank coming in at nine nine hundred eighty eight k. Um, on the Xbox right now. Obviously, prices can fluctuate, but he's medium high, which is perfect for a centre back, in my opinion. Um, six foot three, very very tall. Two star skill moves doesn't matter, and three star weak foot is okay. Four would have been better, but three is all right. Um, I, I honestly think he's probably one of the most overpowered centre backs in the game, just because ninety five defending, ninety five physical on the base card stats is honestly, guys, you you aren't going to get much better than that. Look at those ninety five strength, ninety ninety eight aggression, ninety five jumping, ninety three stamina, ninety three inceptions, ninety six heading. 96 defending awareness, 95 stand tackle, 92 slide tackle. You don't even need a chem style on this guy. He has literally got 90s everywhere. Um, 89 composure is brilliant. I'd probably, I'd probably go with the catalyst, if I'm honest on this guy, just to put some short passing, long passing boosted on there. And obviously his pace, most people like putting some pace cards on. And if you're going for meta, obviously you're going to want to put that on him. And he's going to win everything in the, he in the air, in the hair? Um, not in the hair, he's going to win everything in the air and... If someone tries running past him, he's either going to get boffed off the ball or just snapped and tackled because Vidic is an absolute tanking game. I've used him in the draft, not his prime moments, but he's going to be insane and that is number two spot. Number three, a midfielder, more of a defensive midfielder, um, a French prime moments icon. So the first Frenchman in this one comes out of packs as a CDM, we'll put France on and there he is, the highest rated, joint highest rated. Um, yeah, an absolute tank Petit is. Um, I've seen the Panthers use his prime, uh, 90 rated, and says he's brilliant. So I can just imagine what this card is like. You can see dark greens absolutely everywhere. Apart from penalties, he's never going to be a pen taker. You're probably going to have an attacker midfielder or a striker taking your pens. But um, yeah, I just I just think, how is this guy under mill? 990k at the moment. Obviously, it can go down or up. Um, but... Look at those stats absolutely everywhere. 94 long pass, 92 short pass, 91 long shots, 91 shot power, 92 stand tackle, 93 interceptions, 96 stamina. He's just got it. He's got it all. Three star, three stars, okay, only because he's a CDM. Anywhere higher up the field, you're looking for a bit more than that. Left footed, obviously, is, might be useful for your team if you need a left sided cent, uh, CDM. 
can even play centre back off Kem or start him as a CDM moving to centre back. Would definitely do a job at centre back. Um, I think maybe a shadow would be perfect for him, even an anchor just to you know max out defending physical and a bit more pace. But he doesn't even need the pace because he's probably going to sit back. He's not going to be up and down. He is high high, but um, I definitely put him on stay back while attack him as you as you hold in defensive mid. I just I think he's going to be insane. I'd love to try him out. I don't have nine hundred ninety k right now, but I will. Uh, probably look forward to getting someone like Petit in the middle and that is number three spot right then the final two are further up the pitch and this player here is comes out of Pax as a centre forward from Italy a couple of choices there could be but it is Del Piero so um, yeah could be Zola could be Baggio but it is Del Piero he featured in my icons under a mill he's the only prime icon moment to make it and he is in this one again high medium four star skill moves five star weak foot is literally the definition of meta so you can get five star skill moves as well but Four is brilliant. Five star weak foot is so overpowered. I play this guy as a centre forward or a cam. Could play him as a striker, but I mentioned uh, having a little bit um, less pace than your usual striker. But if you if you don't mind that, if you like a um, a, a decently uh, paced striker at strike at striker, then um, you can obviously use him. But at cam, he would be insane with the five star weak foot. Shoot from anywhere and look at those sh long shots. 93, 90 shot power as well. Um, I, I literally, you can take your pens with 99, you can take your free kicks with 99 free kick accuracy. Um, good agility, I'll probably put an engine on this card just to boost the agility and balance. But at the end of the day, guys, he's 5 foot 9, he's not exactly um, tall, so he, the balance isn't going to be too much of an issue. With 86 agility as well, he's going to feel very, very good on the ball, as well as that 97 ball control, 97 dribbling, and then good enough stamina. I think, honestly, this guy's a steal. Um, if I get it up now, he is at at 980k at the moment so just under a mil and i think that is a very very good buy for the fourth icon in the video wrapping up the video then is going to be a striker an out and out striker doesn't really play anywhere else it's going to be hernan crespo um i think this guy looks to be an absolute steal uh he's coming in at 850k on the market medium low is it could be an issue for you, but if you put stay forward on him, um, he's not going to be out of positioning, especially with 97 attack positioning. That was one thing that just drew me to him. Four star, four star, guys, is perfect. It's meta. It's it's beautiful. Right foot, it obviously doesn't really matter, but four star, four star means he can shoot on either foot and he can do a few skill moves to create an angle and get the shot off. And when he does shoot, it's 98 finishing with 97 attack positioning. So. Honestly, he in the box. This guy won't. He won't miss. He just won't miss. Um, his pace is rapid. Ninety acceleration. Ninety one. Ninety one sprint speed. It's just so so good. Volleys are good. Shot power is ninety one. Shot power is very underrated as well on on card stats. People do forget about it, but it is underrated. You do need a good shot power. And ninety one is definitely up there. Ninety three agility means he'll be in and out. Very meta. Balance 87 is very high. 92 reactions, 91 ball control, 92 dribbling, 94 composure. He's got the dribbling. I just think, I don't know how this guy isn't used enough. Like, literally, he is insane. 93 head and accuracy, 90 jumping. He's going to he win headers as well. 83 stamina on a striker is okay. It's, it's, it'll do. And then 81 strength. He's also quite strong. So, they are the five icons. Um, obviously, there's other icons you can choose. These are the ones I've picked for top five meta icons. Prime icon moments under a mil. Um, let me know what you think. Is there anyone I missed out? Have a chat with me in the comments. Always reply to the comments. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. If you did enjoy or it did help, please do smash a like. It helps out more than you probably even know. But um, yeah, if you're new, subscribe and peace. <laughs>